Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Your Math Grade 4 Module 3 Lesson 20 homework. So let's get started. Number one, Maria solved a division problem by drawing an area model. A, look at the area model. What division problem did Maria solve? All right, so just by looking at it, we can tell our dividend right now is 30 plus 24, which is 50. Because that is the area of the area model. That is the thing that we're dividing. That we're that is the number that we're dividing. But what is our divisor? What number are we dividing by? So our divisor would be this side of the area model, which is three. Oh, not that right. Fifty and fifty-four divide by three because we can't divide by that side because it's ten and eight. So we're only divided by one single number, which is 3. And 54 divided by 3, so they split 54 into 30 and 24, and they did each number divide by 3 itself. So 30 divided by 3 is 10, and 24 divided by 3 is 8. So that's how they got the 10 and the 8. And when you add those two numbers together, 10 plus 8 will give you 18. So the answer to 54 divided by 3 is 18. That is a problem that Maria solved. So B says show a number bond to represent Maria's area model. Start with the total and then show how the total is split into two parts. Below the two parts represent the total length using the distributive property and then solve. All right, so our total was 54. And we split 54, or they split 54 up into 30 and 24. And you may be wondering why 30 and 24, how we get that num those numbers. Well, what we're doing, because since we're dividing by three, we want to figure out how many um, tens of threes can go into um, 54. So let's see, if we have one ten, ten, three can't go into 10 evenly. We have two tens, three can't go to 20 evenly either. But, however, if we have 3 tens, 30, 3 can go into 30 perfectly. It can go 10 times into 30. So if we use 30, then that leaves us 24 left, which 3 can also go perfectly into. So now we have 30 divided by 3 plus the 24 divided by 3. And 30 divided by 3 is 10 plus 24 divided by 3 is 8. 10 plus 8 is 18. So this would be our number bond and the distributed property. All right, so let's try number two now. Number two says, solve 42 divided by three using an area model. Draw a number bond and use the distributed property to solve for the unknown length. All right, so our area model, let's draw a rectangle. 42 divided by three, so as we um, looked at in the first problem, problem one, we know that three tens can go into a lot of numbers. So like 10 threes, 30 can go easily into three. So 42, first write, let's write three here because that's the number we're dividing by. 42, I think we can split it into 30 and 12, and that is because we know that 3 can go into 30 very easily. So then if we're dividing by 42, or the number we're dividing is 42, that leaves us 12 left, which um, 3 can also go easily into. Now 30 divided by 3 is 10, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So if we add 10 plus 4, we know that altogether 42 divided by 3 equals 14. But now we're not done yet. It asks us to do a number bond as well as the distributed property. So our number bond, the total would be 42. And we split it into the two parts we broke 42 up into, which is 30 and 12. Now our distributed property, 30 divided by 3 plus 12 divided by 3, which will give us 30 divided by 3 is 10 plus 12 divided by three is four, and 10 plus four is 14. So 14 is our answer. All right, number three. 
Solve 60 divided by 4 using an area model. Draw a number bond to show how you partition partition oh, what? partition uh, the area and represent the division with um um oh, represent the division with a written method. So the written method basically represent it with long division. So 60 divided by 4. Let's draw our area model. We already know we can put 4 on the left side because that's the number we're dividing by. Let's see. How many tens how many tens of four can go with like how many times how many tens can four go into? So uh, let's see, sixty, let's see, forty. Forty because we know um four times ten is forty. So sixty, we can break it apart into forty and twenty, and we also know that four can go into twenty. Let's see. 40 and 20, and 40 plus 20 is 60. 40 divided by 4 is 10, and then 20 divided by 4 is 5. So we add 10 and 5 together, we get 15, which means 60 divided by 4 is 15. But now our number bond, so our total is 60. We can break it apart into the two parts we broke it apart into, which was 40 and 20. We're gonna distribute our distributed property would be 40 divided by 4 plus 20 divided by 4, which gives us 40 divided by 4 is 10, plus 20 divided by 4 is 5, and 10 plus 5 is 15. But we're not done yet. It says represent um the division with the written method. So long division. 60 divided by 4. 4 goes 1 times into 6, so 4 times 1 is 4, 6 minus 4 is 2. Bring the 0 down, 4 goes 5 times into 20, minus 20, that's 0. So over here, it says 15 as well, so our answer is 15. Alright, number 4. Solve 72 divided by 4 using an area model. Explain using words, pictures, or numbers the connection of the distributed property to the area model. Let's see, 72 divided by 4. Let's draw our area model. 72, let's see. We know that 4 can go into 40 already. So we split 72 up into 40. That gives us 32 left, which I'm pretty sure 4 could also go into. 40 divided by 4 is 10, and 32 divided by 4 is 8. So we add 10 and 8 together, we get 18, which means 72 divided by 4, oh, did I write a plus, equals 18. All right, and now let's do our number bond. So our total is 72, and we broke it apart into 40 and 32. Now... 40 divided by 4 plus 32 divided by 4 is equal to 4 divided by 4 is 10, plus 32 divided by 4 is 8, which will give us 18. But now, how is that related to the um, area model? Well, the number we broke, the numbers we broke, or not 72, we broke it apart into 40 and 32, which we divide by 4 separately. So we connect the arrows, we can show 40 divide by 4 plus 32 divided by 4. And so it does relate to the area model. All right, and number five, solve 96 divided by 6 using an area model and the standard algorithm. All right, so an area model, let's see, 96 divided by 6. First, we write our divisor here, 6. Let's see, how many times? How many tens can six go into? We know that six is, 30 is a multiple of six. So let's see, we break apart 96 into 30. We have 36, or not 36 left. We have 
66 left. So we could do that. Or instead, we could do 6 times 10 is 60 plus 36 to get to 96. So we have oh, there. 36. So that's another way we could do it. 60 divided by 6 is 10, and 36 divided by 6 is 6. So we add 10 and 6 together. The answer to 96 divided by 6 would be 16. All right, and it doesn't say we have to do the number bond or distributor property. It says do an area model and the standard algorithm, which is just long division. 96 divided by 6. 6, six goes one time into 9. Minus 6, that gives us 3 left. Bring down the 6. 6 goes 6 times into 36. Minus 36, 0. So our answer would be 16. So, yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!